Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. We have spoken to you about how this is a time of letting go of patterns, of behavior, of people, of circumstance, and what does not serve you and what does not feel like love or joy, what does not feel like it adds to the truth of your life. Greetings. I am Sanat Kumara, Planetary Logos, Keeper of Universal Law. And I come this day with golden radiance and messages of love, messages of encouragement, messages of beauty, gifts of truth, gifts of purity. I welcome you creators and fellow journeyers of Nova Earth, of Nova Being, and yes, even of Nova Time. I have stepped forward this day because I wish for you to understand yet again the nature of universal law and how it operates. You are very familiar with the law of attraction, and you are very familiar with the law of above and below, within and without. Some of you skirt and dance around the law of elimination although it could be very useful to you. And as you are growing and changing in this expansion that you are being given on a daily basis, it is important that you think and feel and activate this gift, this power to eliminate that which does not serve, does not serve either you or the collective. So many of you are afraid to throw things out. What is that about you? We have spoken to you, all of us, how this is a time of letting go, of letting go of patterns, of behavior, of people, of circumstance, internal and external, what does not serve you and what does not feel like love, what does not feel like joy, what does not feel like it adds to the truth of your life. This also includes letting go of pollution, letting go of war, letting go of hatred, letting go of radiation. Because in the letting go what you are also doing is cleaning up. You are creating that bright, shiny space for the new. And you say to me SK, how do I do that? How do I let go of something like pollution? How do I put it in the trash and take it to the curb as you have suggested? I've already cleaned up my house so it is not polluted, but I wish to clean for the collective. I wish to clean for Gaia. Now many years ago your beloved Saint Germain has said, No do not take on what does not belong to you. Well that no longer applies and it most certainly does not apply when you are thinking of the work with your beloved Gaia. And so I allow you this day, I encourage you, see yourself on behalf of the whole and on behalf of Gaia to take what doesn't serve her and wrap it up, put it in the trash and take it to the etheric curb. We will take it and we will transform that energy back to pure light, back to pure love, because that is the only energy in the universe. I think you do not fully comprehend what I say to you, what Einstein, Raphael, Serapis Bay, El Moria, Saint Germain, Mother Mary, Yahweh, you are not hearing fully in your hearts what we are saying to thee. The fabric, the energy, the substance, the essence, the subatomic matter of this and every universe is love. Has it been transmuted and transformed? At times, yes, and we would like to emphasize that transmutation and transformation into something that is not so desirable has come from the powerful human collective, yes believing in false grids, false paradigms. But the good news is my friends, is that you have already demonstrated what powerful, mighty creators you are. But it is understood that there are energies that you no longer want to touch and engage with and that is all right, that is why we say toss it in the garbage, give it to us and we will give it back to you as bright and shiny love. If you are fearful in the slightest of being contaminated don't worry, give it to us. We will dust it off, shine it up. And give it back to you. This is our sacred partnership. When we ask you to help us, to write love in the air love in the water, love in your heart, you are doing your part. So let us do ours and let us help you and let us help Gaia. Let us help every human, hybrid soul upon the planet. Let us fortify you because when we talk as above, so below it also means if we are mighty and we all bow to Michael, then you, you my sweet angels, are also mighty. If we are humble and meek, then you are humble and meek. And when we are loving, you are loving. Look in the mirror, look in the mirror of our eyes, 
look in the mirror of your friends, your family, your partner, see that beautiful truth of who you are. Declare yourself and step forward in love because every fiber, every strand of hair, your eyes, your face, your skin, your body, it is love. It is love that has taken a form, a form that you decided upon, and a form that is absolutely perfect, just as Gaia's form is absolutely perfect. So during this time of changes, of shift, remember you are perfect. Allow that perfection to shine through and if you decide, if you choose that there is something you wish to let go of, then give it to me, give it to any of us. We will be overjoyed to take it. We will not grab it from you, we honor you too much for that. We see your sacredness, we do not interfere, but we wish to be in partnership. Come join with us, come join with us my beloved ones. Farewell. Channeled by Linda Dillon